What's up guys, I am back and even though iOS 14 is a brilliant update, battery life is still a big issue. So in this video, I am going to show you how to improve your battery life and maintain better battery health. So right off the bat, all these tips will work in previous and future iOS versions and you have to understand that battery life and battery health are two very different things. So battery life is the state of charge of your phone and battery health is the state of energy of your phone's battery. So maintaining 100% battery health is still a myth because battery replenishes over time but you can slow that process down by using these tips. So obviously start by checking on the apps that are using most amount of power and cut down their usage. Now some apps command more battery power than others even if you use them for the same amount of time. So I recommend pinpointing all these heavy apps while focusing on the apps that might not be big in size but consume power via the background activity. So you can easily turn that off and you can also use the downtime feature and limit the use of these apps which is a good practice but it does get annoying after some point and usually we all end up disabling it so in that sense turning off background app refresh is a better option which i highly recommend and if you have an iphone with an oled display then please turn on the dark mode because for one it looks really good and it consumes way less power while actually maintaining your battery health and improving the battery life. So one thing you should know about OLED display is that these actually tend to burn and they use more power when they're actually lighten up as opposed to being dark. So please enable the dark mode because it'll help you a lot. Now you can actually go one step ahead and use Siri shortcuts like battery wizard, super low power mode and even intelligent battery as these disable most of the features that consume more power and they work better than the low power mode that Apple includes. So I will link them down below in the description. Now, if you really want to save some power, then you can actually disable some key features that use your phone's hardware. So you can turn off the auto wake up feature that uses a proximity sensor. So basically whenever you pick your phone up, it automatically wakes up the screen. You can disable this feature and you can also turn off the Hey Siri feature because it uses a microphone and your phone is basically waiting for you to say Hey Siri. So you can turn this off and if you want to go one step ahead, you can go into the privacy settings and select which apps use the Bluetooth and location services and which apps don't. So you can select from either all the time or only when you access them. So you can do that and you can also turn off the auto mail fetch so that your phone is not scouting for emails at all time and only fetches them when you manually want it to. Now if you're using one Apple ID on multiple devices then you have to go inside the iTunes and App Store settings and turn off the auto update and auto download feature because this is very consuming not only for your battery but your storage as well. So basically this thing will keep on downloading the updates or installing applications from other devices without your permission. It's very consuming and you have to turn this feature off. And lastly please don't kill the apps from the app switcher. Even Apple suggests this because it's basically using more power and it takes a big hit on the battery and refreshes the entire background activity from the get-go when you do this. So please don't kill the apps from the app switcher. Now before talking about on how to charge your iPhone in a better way, I'm going to quickly walk you through some small changes you can do to get more battery life. So you can turn off True Tone, you can turn off the live wallpapers and you can disable vibrations and we all have some applications we don't want the notifications for so you can completely turn that off or have them deliver quietly. So finally, let's talk about some charging tips to maintain better battery health. So right off the bat, as I already have said, turn on the optimized battery charging feature. It learns from my charging patterns and charges your phone at different speeds depending on the usage. So when your phone is not being used, say at night, the charging speed will be slowed down and when you're using it, the speed will see a big difference. Now fast charging is a brilliant feature, but Apple doesn't include a fast charger in the box and honestly, I really don't recommend using it. And neither do I recommend using wireless charging. These two have always had heating issues and I refrain from using them and advise the same. Now obviously we all have different usage for the phones and we use them differently. So we cannot stick to a particular charging cycle, but I recommend you should do that and stick to a particular charging time throughout the day because it really helps. So I hope this helps in improving your battery life and your battery health. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until then, peace.